Hi, right, what's up guys and welcome to Summer School with On Maths. So, we've got four, three, <laughs> three questions to do on averages and the first is OCR, paper six, question one. Let's give it a go. Now, I'm going to try and do these in order of difficulty. I think this is quite a simple-ish one, but you need to know what the words mean. So, mode means most and we've got range which is the big take away the smallest so biggest take away smallest and then mean where you add them all up and divide them by the amount of numbers simple as that now uh, it says we've got four numbers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw four little boxes for my numbers to go in they are definitely not the same size okay now we've got to prioritize the information so we've been given um, a number of facts so it says the mode of the four numbers is eight fact number one the range is seven fact number two and the mean is 11 and the fact there's four numbers which is actually quite important because we'd be doing this all day if there were unlimited numbers because there'd be unlimited possibilities so uh, I'm going to focus on the mode first. The mode, it says, is 8. Now, there's only four numbers, so um, for the mode to be 8, we need at least two of them to be uh, 8. And this is a bit of guesswork here. Um, I'm going to guess that, I don't know, these two are 8. Now, these are going to be in order of size, from smallest to biggest. And I have no idea that it's going to be the two on the left-hand side are going to be eight. They could be the two on the right. It's just I'm looking at where it says the mean's 11. So we know there's at least one number bigger than eight. So I'm kind of having a guess. Now, that number that's bigger than eight could be massive. And there could be a seven there as well. So we don't know. Okay, it says the range uh, is seven. So following my hypothesis that eight is the smallest number, um, the range is the, the biggest take away the smallest. So we know that the biggest number has to be seven more than the smallest number. And seven plus eight is 15. Okay, so we're still not 100% sure, but we're just following common sense. So that's the first two facts ticked off. And the last fact says the mean is 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the numbers we've already got together. So we've got uh, 8 plus 8, which is 16. And then 16 plus 15 is going to be 31. So they add up to 31. Now the mean, it says, is 11. And so when we add up all these numbers, these four numbers... Uh, for the mean to be 11, it's got to add up to 44, okay? Because what we do is we add them all up and divide them by an amount of numbers. And there's four numbers, so we're going to do 44 divided by 4 to get 11. So it's going to have to add up to 44. So what I'm going to do is just do 44 and then take away the 31, which is going to be 13. Put that in there, and that is our answer. And to finish it off nicely, I'm going to get my finest blue and put it in the answer part here. Now, this is question one, so we're not expecting this to be too difficult. But it's not exactly easy, because sometimes with these questions, they almost give you one. Like, they give you a, a number uh, to start off with, and this really hasn't. Um, it's a bit more open-ended. Like so, Sometimes they'll say the median is, and so you know what the middle number is going to be. But this one's a little bit more tricky, but for three marks, it's definitely worth doing. Okay, on to the AQA offering for our averages challenge. And we can uh, go question all about the mean. And I have a feeling for the next two questions, our last couple of questions for today, we will have to know something that not an awful lot of students uh, realise. Now, what, what, um, when you learn speed and distance and time, what a lot of teachers talk about is this triangle. And you've either learnt it in maths or in science. And what the triangle does is if you've got um, speed, distance and time, you put it into the triangle with distance at the top. And you can work out, if you've got two of them, you can work out the other one. 
Mean has the identical triangle. A lot of students don't realise this. So I'm going to draw the triangle down here somewhere. Make it nice and big so I can fit the words in. Because we know that the mean is the sum of all the numbers divided by the amount. Okay, You add them all up and you divide by the amount of numbers. But that does make an identical triangle to any other triangle you use, whether it's speed, distance, time, or you know, with force and pressure and all the, all the other ones. Density has one, and, and some uh, teachers teach trigonometry with triangles. So everything has a triangle, and this is exactly the same thing. And the reason we bring this up is when you have a question like this, and let's have a look at the question, it's given you the amount there, and it's given you the mean. But what it hasn't given you is what they add up to, which you need to, for, to answer this question. So the first bit of this question is all about finding the sum. So the sum is going to be the amount, which is this one, times by the mean, or the mean times the amount. So it's going to be 19 times 82. Now, thankfully, this is a calculator paper, so I'll get out my calculator and bung it in. There we are, 1,558. Now, it says a player of mass 93 has joined the squad. Okay, so new sum. And I always encourage my students to show the examiner what it is they're working out. So we're going to do uh, 1,500 and 58 plus 93, because we've now got this 93 in our hockey squad. And we get 1,651, fantastic. So now we've got the new sum, it says work out the mean mass of the squad now. So to work out the mean, as we know from our triangle at the bottom, it's the sum divided by and the amount of players. Now be careful here, I reckon it's probably pretty tempting to write 19 in there, but we have had another player join the squad, so it's now 20. So I'm just going to divide that by 20, and I've got 82.55, which seems like a reasonable answer to me. And this is question 14 on the AQA paper 3. So it's pretty decent marks as well. Three marks we can tick off. Now, I think the next questions could be similar, but maybe a little bit more complicated. So let's move straight on to it. So you can see this is another mean question. And we can just pick apart what information we have here. So um, we've got information about the amount of boys, which there's 10 boys. Let's that a little bit. Uh, we've got information about the amount of girls, which is 20 girls, and we know the mean for the girls is 54 as well. And we've got some information for the whole class. So the whole class is average, the mean average is 60. But we also have the amount for the whole class. So you can just add these two together. So we have 30 students. Okay, so we've got actually quite a lot of information here, which is good. I like to have lots of information. And we're going to bring in our beautiful triangle again, because we will need it for this question as well. And so our triangle says that the mean is the sum of all the numbers divided by the amount. Okay, so we're working out the mean mark for the boys, but we don't have enough information yet because we know the amount of boys, but we don't know what all the boys add up to. So what we're going to do is work out what all the girls add up to, work out what the entire class adds up to, and then uh, take away the, um, the sum for the girls uh, from the sum for the class. Pretty complicated, but we'll do it step by step. So, um, sum of girls... Again, just show the examiner everything you do. And so we know from our triangle, the sum is the mean times the amount. 
So the mean is 54 and the amount is 20. So again, a calculator paper, so I can get my calculator out, thankfully. And we've got 1080. So the girls add up to 1080. Uh, next, we need to know it for the class. So sum of class. I missed the L out for some reason. OK, so uh, the mean for the class is 60, and the amount for the class is 30. So 60 times 30, I can't believe I'm using a calculator for that. But if you've got it, why not? So sum for boys or sum of boys, you're just going to take away the girls from the class. So it's going to be 1,800, take away 1080. So take away 1080, 720. And you shouldn't really do that. Um, you shouldn't really put them on the same line. I'm just going to get rid of that. don't like that. should really have one equals per line. Okay, so 720. So the sum of the boys is 720. So we've got the sum and we've got the amount because it tells us in the question. So the mean for boys is the sum, which is 720 divided by the amount which is 10 not using a calculator for that <laughs> so the answer will be 72 so there's my answer part there we are and we can put it in the little answer part there well i hope you enjoyed today's video we're going to be doing this every single day uh, during our summer school period um, and uh, we're going to cover every single maths topic to keep you up to date please visit the website on maths.com and join the summer school. Enjoy.